The question is uh, balance between material life and spiritual life. So material life is important and spiritual life is even more important. Here's the reason why. Because we are soul, spirit soul. When the soul leaves the body, the body is dead. The body is always dead, right? But the soul is what keeps it alive. Now, if you don't take care of the body, then the body becomes unusable. If you don't take care of the soul, then you become unhappy. And that's the reason why people are having wealth, having all the education, having all the good things in life, yet they feel something is missing in life. It's like fish out of water. The fish that is in the water, it's happy because it can breathe, it can sustain itself. The soul, Atma, is happy when it's with Krishna. When it's away from Krishna, no matter what you give the soul, it's unhappy, there's something missing. You have all the good things, you have the luxuries, you have the, the, the soft and cushy life, but something is missing, you're not happy. There's always a little a pain, there's always a little feeling of incompleteness. And that's why spiritual life is important. But it is not enough to just focus on spiritual life. We need to take care of the body. That means we have to eat right. We have to exercise. We have to earn well. We have to have social status. Any human being needs to have the mind, body and soul completely nourished to be fully satisfied and happy. And that requires for ourselves to give food where it's necessary. Food for the soul is spirituality, spiritual wisdom. Everything begins in spiritual life is by asking questions. The, the Bhagavad Gita is a book of question and answer. Arjuna is asking, Krishna is answering. Spiritual sound vibrations. Meditation, spiritual food, prashadam, etc. Food for the mind, love and being loved. Sweet words, appreciation, achievement, sense of satisfaction and pride. Food for the body, of course, it's food, right? It's cleanliness, it's medicines, vitamins, etc. Exercise, right? Using the body. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Jantra Rudhani Maya. That means this is actually a jantra. That means it's a, it's a machine. And a machine needs to be oiled, a machine needs to be taken care of. So the body needs to be taken care of as well. So we feed the body, we feed the mind, and we feed the soul, and we can have a complete, wholesome life. That's how you balance material and spiritual life.